right, so I've got it all tore down. And next, we're going to come back and I'm going to notch out for the Y axis here to make clearance. And then we're going to start checking fitment and put it all back together. So basically, I'm just going to drill a series of holes until I get up to about a half inch. And then I'm just going to come back with a cutoff wheel and notch this out. So let's take a look. So I just started out with a center drill and then came back with an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths, quarter inch, so on and so forth until I got to a half inch. The half inch drill, by drilling it, it gave me a nice radius in the corner and helped with uh, getting this uh, cut out. Okay, we've got our two half inch holes drilled in here and let me just give you these dimensions so from the end here to the back of the notch is 2 and 11 sixteenths or 68 millimeters the notch itself is 56 millimeters from here to here or about two and a quarter and then the center line is based on the um, stud right here. This is going to go in there like so. So we've got to notch this out. And this is from the center line over is 22 millimeters or about 7 eighths on each side. And then I just drilled these half inch holes. And then now I'm going to come back with a cut off wheel and I'll just cut cut and hopefully cut this out and take that out so let's see if we can do that now so I just took my cut off wheel here and just worked my way back and forth slowly uh, cutting through the um, Y table here the base uh, it's about a half inch thick right here it wasn't too difficult, it just took a little time and I just kept going back and forth and, until I got it. And you can see here, I cut all the way through and now I'm just going to take a pair of channel locks, grab it and kind of work my way back and forth until this breaks loose. Uh, actually it was fairly easy. Uh, there's really not that much holding it on right here. So it kind of broke free. This is just casting. It's pretty coarse casting, but you can see there there's not that much actually that was left holding it. So it worked out really well. All right, now I'm just going to come back and clean all this up with the grinder. So I just took my grinder and went back and forth and cleaned it up as much as I possibly could and then took a file and got the rest. Okay. Well, we've got our notch made here. Well, it turned out really well considering uh, I used a die grinder, a grinder, and a few files. Uh, this right here, this section just pops out real easy with a, uh, once you get all these areas cut, you can just kind of bend it back and forth and you can see that the casting just kind of broke. There wasn't really much left holding it on. That kind of, that worked out really well. Uh, hopefully you can see this, but the casting right here does not go all the way down to the bottom. This casting is about at least a half inch thick, and then this is probably just maybe a quarter inch. This is probably five eighths, and this is probably about uh, five sixteenths thick right here. And then it kind of steps back and goes down. Well, the other side over here does not do that. And so what I've done is I've just took my cutoff wheel and went across here. And I need to flip this over and kind of notch this out so that that gives room for our Y-axis ball nut mount to go into. And then also, uh, I need to flip it over because I need to kind of just put a little quarter circle, half circle in here and bring it back to about right there 
just to provide clearance for the radius of the ball nut as it slides up under here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbolt this from the table and hopefully I don't have to take the column off. I'm not sure how heavy this is going to be. And see if I can flip it over so I can access these areas right here. Alright, so you can see I went ahead and just took the column off. Uh, believe it or not, it's not as heavy as I thought it was. It was manageable by myself. Uh, the base was actually heavier than the column. I got it flipped over. And right here you can see how the casting's made. And so what I want to do is just notch this side right here to kind of replicate that so that the ball nut coupling will slide under it. And then right here I just want to dish it out in this section just a little bit just to make sure I got clearance for the ball nut uh, to slide up under there. So that's what I'm going to do now. Alright so I just took my die grinder and went in at angles to try to relieve some of that material right there and see if I couldn't uh, notch it a little bit. I took a screwdriver and kind of tried to pry it a little bit off wasn't quite deep enough so I had to go in there and do some more uh, but finally I got it able to kind of notch it out cleaned up as much as I could with the cutoff wheel and then took a grinder and went in there and got the rest uh, please wear a dusk mask you can see we've got this that notched out real stuff. well that should be just fine and then I'll come back now and I'm just going to make this little half circle down through here just to make sure I got clearance for the bearing and then we should be good to go. So in order to make this little half circle all I did was just took the die grinder and used the radius of the cutting wheel. You can see how it turned out pretty well. Then I kind of threw some paint on there just so it wouldn't rust and there's the finished notch. So now I want to work on the back here uh, to give me a little relief so I can get full extension going towards the column. So I'm drilling a little eighth inch hole here and I'm going to be notching this out about a quarter inch deep. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna unbolt this from the bench. I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna cut this like so and notch this out uh, with the die grinder and then grind it with the grinder just like I did uh, for the other side. Uh, I, I'm gonna take this outside because the last time it was real dusty and dirty and made a mess. So I'm gonna take this outside. It's real sunny outside. All right, so I'm just taking my cutoff wheel here again and trying to go down as deep as I possibly can. I realized after I notched the front and started test fitting things that I needed to notch the back a little bit to get the full extension in reverse. I don't know how this video is going to turn out uh, because I had to turn it off because I was getting all this dust right here and I was afraid it was getting on my lens but anyways I'm done with the grinding I'm done with the grinding and uh, you can see how the notch turned out um, turned out really well and all that was done on the tailgate of my truck uh, using these two tools mostly with the grinder I started out with the cutoff wheel but that was just taking way too long this is pretty aggressive and didn't take so long you can finagle this in there if you turn it upside down hang it over uh, you can get it in there and make all those cuts well you can see the notch turned out really well and this allows for me to have full travel going back towards the column. That wraps up this video. Please feel free to make suggestions, ask questions, and leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.